Hey, it's me again. Well, hey, um, by the time I'm filming this, I just recently came back from summer camp, which is basically a five day long su uh, scouting camp. And during which I learned how to do something very cool, which is very useful if you're a scout like me. I learned how to make your very own scarf woggle. Now, woggles are different for each group, for each um, section of the scouting movement. For keys, it's a wooden one that goes on the side. For cubs, it's, um, it's a piece of fab, just a piece of fabric. It's basically just like one big floppy badge with two buttons on it that clip together in the color of the six with a with two gold bars if the person wearing it is a six leader. For scouting woggles, this is a scouting woggle. It's just a piece of leather that has two slits cut in it and it's been weaved in a way that is really confusing and I will have to look up and try and research if I ever need to do it. But um, yeah, that's all I know. I'm not sure what it is for venturers and rovers, but this is all I know. So, and basically once you've gotten your... Well, basically I think when you start coming into cubs, once you've gotten your basic woggle, you can add your woggles of your own creations to it. I mean, in Scouts, my friend Bodhi has a wooden one. And a weaved one, and some others, and some other scouts have done it. And I've actually at a cub family camp, which was the only cub camp I went on before I moved up to scouts. I learned, I started learning how to make a woggle, but I forgot. And this summer camp simply renewed that skill. So here is a tutorial on how to do it. This is the one we're going to be making. So this is the one that I made. So pretty sturdy. It uh, still needs to be sealed in, but it's at least durable. It's not the bare minimum either. When making a mogul like this, you can do a single strand, double strand like this, or triple strand, or even quadruple strand if you got enough rope. Just to keep things simple, we're gonna do a double strand, just so that you know how to start off and also how to f correctly follow the strand the original strand so you can start coming up with all the multiples. Right, let's get to it. Um, first thing, the materials. This is what we're going to be using. This is actually my scout robe which I use for practicing knots and also it becomes an emergency robe when we're doing a rope involving activity and we run out of rope. And on the end, the ends have been melted if you want to do a woggle like this, you're going to have to make sure that the ends are melted because if they've been crimped or plastic coated like on shoelaces, it's not going to work. It's much better to have ones with the ends melted. It stops the fraying, but it's also a lot easier to use. Okay, and yeah, once you've finished, this thing can cope with the melting. It doesn't burn. Well, when you do it the right way, of course. <laughs> So, yeah, when you've when you've done your woggle, you just cut off the excess rope and st steal them together with a black like with like a cigarette lighter. Okay, so let's get to it. Just give me a second while I adjust the camera. <laughs> Please excuse me, I have hay fever. <laughs> okay. Take a bit of adjusting. <laughs> okay, uh, let's just see if I can get it right. Okay. Alright, so, we're just going to do it like this. To start off with, 
grab your rope and hold it like this, just with your thumb pinching it. Um, you'll only need these three fingers, but since you can't exactly remove your pinky, it's going to have to stay there. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring your rope around behind your hand, bring it out through here, then when you bring it up, it's going to cross over to form an X. Bring it over, and then bring it out through here. Just get the other end. Okay, so that's it. Now we start with the weaving, the actual weaving. Just bring your X, your crossover point down a bit. Then you bring your rope under at about here, I think. I'm sorry if I seem a bit awkward. I've never actually done a tutorial on how to do this. Okay, that looks about right. Now you come around to the other end of your hand. Now this isn't the type of thing that you use for weaving. Instead, you're going to grab this end, bring it over like this, keep it nice and gentle so you can keep it there. Then it goes under here. And please excuse me if I get this wrong. This is something that's going to take a while to perfect. Even I still have to practice a bit just to do it. Um, but so far it's looking good. Just take this a bit. And also just make sure you have a good tail because you're going to need something to push in when you're tightening it. So I might have to redo this. This is just to show you. Right, so you got your crossover. Now you bring it under here, and if you'll notice, there's an under over under over pattern in it. This is very good. Okay, so there we go. Now we come around to the other end. And this uh, goes over here under here. Okay. Okay, and that's what you do if you want to do a single one. But we're not doing that. We're going to do double strand. So we're just going to play follow the leader with this. It um, doesn't exactly look right. It looks okay over here. Not so good over here. But we'll see. In, we'll see eventually. So you just uh, pull it under here. Over here, under here. And then you just keep folding it along. Oops. And eventually you'll get little crossovers. Uh, just give me a second. Right. Then you pop in under, sorry, um, pop in under here. <sighs> sorry if it keeps getting blurry, I keep forgetting the limitations of this without macro. Yeah, I don't think I've done this right. Please excuse me, I think I, I'll have to undo it. But luckily we've got half an hour of footage left on this, so we're all good. Okay. So give myself a bit of a tail, more of a tail, cross over. And now this starting point is always what determines it all, so Try and remember. Uh, just give me a second. I'm gonna have to experiment with the different angles just so I can try and determine what's right. Wrong. <sighs> no, this way is a bit wrong. Just going here. Negative. That's just plain bullcock. And through here. 
Oh, I must certainly hope not. Well, then I guess it just looked a little bit wrong where I stuffed up somewhere, but... Oh, my apologies. I guess it's, uh... I guess it must go in through here, then. Yeah, it must have looked wrong at first, but this looks more like the right thing, so... Just continue on from here. So, okay, we've done our under. Under, over, under, and here. Now the patterns start at least starting to get in there. You're doing this, you're just follow the rhythm. Under, over, under, over, under, the, the, under, over. Right. Yeah, we've done it right. Okay, so just play follow the leader again. One thing I hate about summer is the bad sneezing and itchy nose, especially for hay fever people like me. It sucks. For one thing, I just said it sucks. I could come up with a joke, just for those, just for the sake of keeping curiosity at bay. Yeah. What's the difference between hay fever and a black hole? They both suck. <laughs> Oh, sorry, no, it's not the difference, it's the, it's what they have in common. Oh, damn it. I'm so bad at creating jokes. That, me creating jokes sucks, too. Uh, anyway, back to business. For the leader, and continue until... You have nothing but single strand. There's still a single one there. So, we haven't completely finished yet. Pretty sure we follow this one next. If it weren't for the fact that I don't know how to use Adobe After Effects, I would have sped this part up, but for those who can't bear it, you can pretty, if you want, you, uh, you can skip forward to the video and I won't make any bad complaints about it. And you just tuck it in here. Actually, no, we'll tighten it now. Now, with tightening, you can either use your two fingers or your thumb. Just for the good thing, we're going to use... Uh, we're just going to use two fingers. Right, so what you're going to do is you're going to push your tail, your standing end, up to get a bit of a loop. Then you just push it around, pulling it as you go. And that just tighten it, tightens it onto your fingers. There's actually enough rope here for a quadruple strand, and it's starting to look a bit confusing. Maybe we shall make sense of it. But, yeah, just for simple things, it's already starting to confuse me a bit, so... We're just going to stick with double. I'm not going to bore you any longer. Thank you. 
Hey. No. Even if this gets a bit confusing, you should understand the whole tightening thing and the follow the leader and how to start off, so yeah, feel free just to stop here if you feel you've gotten enough. I think I've crossed over somewhere. We just follow my beaches with actions. Yeah, I made a cross over here. This the crossovers are not uncommon, get made all the time. When you spot them, just twist them around until they get back into the right position. That's typical. Now the res now the uh, coloring on this camera has gone wonky because I set it for cloudy, but now it's gone sunny. Now the weather's gone sunny again. Ah! Now you see that it's starting to get a bit tighter. It'll be all over soon. It's probably been over ten minutes by now. Aha! And now we just come up to the end. So yeah, that's basically it. Now we just grab our working end and we just tuck it in so that the end is on the inside but we can see that there's all doubles on the outside uh. there you have it it's a bit wonky a bit out right complicated but in the end you have your own woggle so you just cut off the excess tuck your ends in and then seal it with a lighter and then you're all set to go and you can wear this thing proudly on your scarf every time you go to scouts I mean I'm going to be taking my khaki one to the next scout night which is starting at the end of this month or, or just yeah starting around the end of this month or the beginning of the next but yeah um make sure to subscribe like and please give me back all your feedback. Please give me all your feedback because I really want to know how you felt about this video because I'm not really sure. Not very good at video making. But, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching and good luck. Now, like I said, this is not exactly a learn it in a day kind of thing. It's going to take a bit of practice, so don't get upset if you don't get it done the f right the first time. If need be, just practice while you watch. Watch the tutorial quite a few times if you need to. And, yeah. And you'll be making your own woggles in no time. Alright, thanks for watching, and, uh, see you next time. Bye!